4.6. And to finish our program today, the incredible story of a Swedish couple who went on vacation and survived no fewer than seven natural disasters. Stefan and Erika Svanstrom started their four-month trip last December. They were traveling with their young baby daughter. First, they flew from Stockholm to Munich. But when they arrived in Munich, they couldn't get their connecting flight to Thailand because there was a terrible blizzard in South Germany, the worst snowstorm in 100 years. They had to wait at the airport for 24 hours. Mrs. Svanstrom said, We just thought things will get better. When they finally got to Thailand, they had a relaxing few weeks, but that was the last time they could really relax. From Thailand, they flew to the island of Bali in Indonesia, a popular vacation destination. When they arrived in Bali, they were expecting blue skies and sun, but what they got were terrible monsoon rains, the worst monsoons for many years. Mrs. Fonstrom said, now we were thinking, what will happen next? They decided not to stay in Bali, but to go to Australia. They flew to Perth in Western Australia, but hours after they arrived, Perth suffered terrible forest fires, and the streets were full of smoke. They traveled north to Cairns and arrived just in time for Cyclone Yasi, one of the worst cyclones ever to hit the city, they had to leave their hotel and spend 24 hours in a shopping center with 2,500 other people. Could things get any worse? Yes, they could. The Svanstrom family left Cairns and traveled south to Brisbane to visit friends. But the city was suffering from the worst floods in its history. So they left Brisbane and booked airline tickets to Christ Church in New Zealand. But just before their plane left Brisbane, some friends called them to say that Christ Church had been hit by an earthquake and a large part of the city was destroyed. Their plane landed in another city, Auckland. They traveled around New Zealand for a while, and then they flew to Japan. On March 11th, they were having lunch in a restaurant in Tokyo, when suddenly everything began to shake. It was an earthquake nine on the Richter scale, and one of the worst that ever hit Japan. And after the earthquake came a devastating tsunami. Fortunately, Mr. and Mrs. Fonstrom and their child were not hurt. They traveled from Japan to China for the last part of their vacation. Luckily, they didn't have any more natural disasters, and they arrived safely home in Stockholm on March 29th. Mr. Svonstrom said, We have learned that in life you should always expect the worst but hope for the best. Also, you need to be prepared for anything.